Hello, 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 and yo, 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 Liam Funnyman saying welcome back to Donkey Kong 64, finally. Um, finally recording again after my E3 hiatus. Speaking of which, how was that E3, huh? Not bad, huh? Oh, with Nintendo, for Nintendo, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? How about that, eh? All veterans are coming back. Ridley, Sp Daisy, and Ridley are finally gonna be playable. How do I, how do I move? Holy crap. I think you do this three times, I'm not sure. Whoa, what? Are you kidding me? Anyway, yeah. Daisy and Ridley are both going to be final and finally make their Smash roster playable debut. Especially Ridley, it's finally going to be playable for the first time ever. Um, all we need now is Banjo and Kazooie. I mean, yeah, they're owned by Microsoft now, but Sakurai has proven time and time again that. Oh, there's nothing, nothing is impossible. His inclusion of Ridley, I, I always assumed he just hated Ridley, but, and was refusing up, using all these pathetic excuses to cover up his refusal to ever make him playable, but I guess not. Or maybe he actually does hate Ridley, he really does hate Ridley, but he just wanted to shut us up about him. Either way, I'm glad he's finally making his big debut, no pun intended. Oh. Still waiting on K. Rule or, and Banjo-Kazooie. And, so yeah, Cloud and now Ridley. Sakurai has proven to us time and time again that nothing is impossible. This is gonna be... Except maybe winning this boss fight on the first or second try for me. Except maybe me even finishing this game. I think I have to though in order to this to be considered a let's play. Cause I am determined to get through it. Whoa. Stinking monkey fighting. Whoa. Guess it is quite literally monkey fighting. Because it's fighting in a monkey. Technically, I wanted to tell I guess, but who's counting? Are you kidding me? We're not done? Well, I'm pretty close anyway, so...
Aw, oh, dang it, I was... Probably not going- I'm probably not going anywhere until I beat this boss. Oh, no, oh, I missed. Whoa. Wah. Are you kidding me? Keep zooming around the perimeter, dodging these fireballs if you can. I get through this thing. What? Half. Whoa. The boss in this in this game are brutal. The boss of this game are brutal. Dare I or dare I say they are dare I say nearly impossible. I'm not gonna be like Proton John and give up on this game. Like halfway through. Bosses. Dow frickin' Surprised they didn't give show show like a. I mean, it's a Spyro trilogy, but I mean the the, the demo was playable at E3 at this year's E3. But why couldn't they have given us a trailer with a release date? And let's be clear here: Final Fantasy VII remake never happening. Let's be honest. And Death Stranding, also never happening, because we're never going to see any gameplay. Whoa. I'm thinking about having Grant Kirko just come to, come to my house and help me finish this game. Of course, I'd ask, have to ask him to not swear on recording. We're, we're friends on Twitter, so I'm sure he wouldn't have a problem with it. Oh, 
And there's no way to heal here. Bosses in this game are almost impossible. Let me set. Let me tell you that much. If there was a cheat. That made me good at this. Might be stuck with this forever. I heard a good strategy with Mad Jack is to just just keep spinning around in us in a fixed pattern, just just moving around in a fixed pattern. And but that's probably not gonna work with me. Oh. What's up with feisty pets? Why are they... How could such a horrifying toy line possibly exist? Feisty pets, more like brutally decimate you while you sleep pets. Or no, more like littlest pet shop of horrors. Seriously, how? I, why is everything from my childhood trying to kill me? Yes, I had littlest pet shop to figure things growing up. Don't judge me. No different than being a brony or a miracular. I which I have been fan a fandom of both. Which I have been both. I used to be a brony, kinda of, but then I kinda of faded out after the show got more complicated and Um Well, let's say, but I, but, but, but like, and, but I am still part of, well, I still do like Miraculous. Miraculous, simply the best, up to the test when things go wrong. I'm like if the runaway guys fused into one, uh, random fella. You know, just, just walk, just. Hey. Whoa, freaking. This guy just moving in this, moving in the opposite direction of where how they expect you to move is son of a. But. But the thing, but the guy punished, but the thing punishes you for cheating, it seems. The game seems to punish you for cheating. For trying to cheat. Hey! No cheating!
Sorry. Sorry for the <coughs> Sorry for that random sneeze fest. Something out of my nose, it seems. Are you kidding me? I might never get anywhere if I don't beat this guy. Luckily, this game has infinite lives. You have infinite lives in this game, unlike in Banjo Kazooie. Good thing you have infinite lives in this game, unlike in Banjo Kazooie and Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Uh, both of which I've played before. Don't expect me to ever do an LP of Conquer. Because I try to keep the. I, I try to do like most of the. Games that are mostly family friendly. Yeah, I have it. Oh. I might change my mind, but the commentary will be. My commentary will remain PG. Which. Don't. Ah. Bosses in this game are unforgiving. Hey. Blowfish. Hey, you bloated child's art project. I don't mean that the child is bloated, I'm calling you bloated. This is crazy. Oh my gods and goddesses. This is hands down the worst evening of my life. Lanky's Log, number... I lost count.
Sea Wars. A while, quite a while ago, actually, in a in a sea or in out at sea. Whoa! I feel like this game hates me. How wait? How can the game hate you? I'm still determined to, to beat the game. No matter what happens. There's apes. Monkeys. Of a gum chewing funk monster. Okay. Next time on Donkey Kong 64. I'll probably just go on another plan. Until then, everybody, remember to stay jumbo.